there's a fire out along River Road, a fair few kilometres, and now one's just started up in the middle of Nelligan. I don't know whether it's a spot fire, but I'll go outside and I'll show you. But um, yeah, it's that windy. I don't know whether you'll be able to hear me. We've just had a wind change, which is pretty good. Um, that's where the fire was and was coming straight into Nelligan. Um, now what's happened is the fire, we've got a wind change. So instead of coming from the north, it's now virtually coming from the west, you could say. A um, little bit southwest. So it's actually now pushing the fire away from us. So I think Nelligan has been saved by a wind change then. I could then have a look at the smoke. Oh, there's a spot fire. There's a spot fire just on the other side of, of the highway. Just if you, I don't know whether you can see it, there's a bridge there. Just on the other side of the bridge I can see more smoke. Not the big plumes up there, it's down here. So, so I don't know where that, it's probably come across from there. No, like, look how dry and tindery. I can't get rid of any of these leaves unless I take them to the tip. Because, you know, some green mob and the council come up with where here we live in a smoke-free zone. I've got a friggin' fire. <laughs> Right, okay, it doesn't blow smoke, but come on. But yeah, it's a it's a way to make money and make all the people here in Nelligan who live in a bush and other places, we're not allowed to get rid of our our dead timber and all that and put it in a you know drum and burn it off or have a bonfire once a year. So yeah. Mate, have a fucking big wake up your greenies and and councils. Let people protect their properties, otherwise fucking don't let them have properties. Bloody windy, you think? It's got, we got gusts up to near a hundred. Look at it, look at the helicopter. I'm going in to get my still camera, I think. See what's coming here. These have been going over all day. It's a crop duster that you're looking at there. Well, today would have to be the probably the smokiest or equal smokiest day around here. Um, there's hardly any wind compared to the last six days. This is the seventh day, so last time, right at the beginning of the video when I was out here is probably a week exactly to the time. Hey YouTube, um, it's the day after uh, getting evacuated. Um, as you can see, I'm staying. Um, yeah, you can sort of see it's fairly smoky. Um, last night, right over in that direction up there, there was just an orange glow, you could just see it. Uh, the reason why it's so smoky today is there's fires that actually go right the way along here, all the way to the coast. It's absolutely huge. I think they're saying 60 plus thousand hectares. There's not much happening. Um, so yeah, it's sort of like really quiet today. It's quite a stay in nine days. Doesn't look like many people in the street have actually left. I've seen most of the people still here, so all right. Be good, and hopefully it stays like this and they get the fires out. They need some rain, really. I don't think these fires are going anyway, anywhere until we get some rain. got it out or it's fucking melted there's a big aluminium boat there it is like a bit of a cruiser yeah bargy sort of thing you can see how it can turn into fuck all to something substantial pretty good yeah well youtube it's been about a month and uh, that's where the fires started. And you know all, I just went through it. So it's been a month, I haven't been on for about two or three weeks. It was just over it, but uh, 
these big fires start down the south now and um, yeah I'm going to show you uh, what's going on so basically basically all that front there and that's south east, uh, southwest sorry so that's west and that's south if you read there it basically is new south wales rural fire emergency bushfire warning runniford buck and bore and elegan seek shelter as fire arrives and then it gives you a web dress so um look i've got all that i can jump in and hide i want to try and save this place um i'm not a real panic person um i think adrenaline or i hope adrenaline will punch in when it's all going to happen or if it happens um but yeah i'm not here to be a hero i'm here just to save something that they'll give me a really hard time to put back because it's right on the water and it's what they call a recognized structure um they know it's here but it was before time uh that you had to put in council permission so i love this place and i'd like to pass it on to someone one day so they can enjoy it sell it and uh yeah i want to try and save it so I'm not putting my life in too much danger. Um, I've got the river to get out of, but anyway, I'm not doing it to be a hero or anything like that. I've got a really good out, which is the river. And um, yeah, I hopefully the adrenaline will kick in. Alrighty. Well, getting a little bit hairy now. We've lost power. Um, the wind sort of swirl and doesn't know which way it's gonna go. We've got planes coming over. I'm just filling up water bottles. Um, I've, got the gener I've got the generator going as you can see uh, it's the only way I've got no power so I'm on tank water so yeah got it all set up I've got the internet running just for a safety thing um, I'm just about to get changed into some firefighting uh, firefighting stuff and um, just long pants cotton stuff uh, yeah, so that's about it. So, yeah, just see what happens. So, watching this from overseas, I'll give you a little bit of how our Aussies' brains work, okay? So, that there's a generator, and the cord that leads up there goes to the water pump because I'm I'm on not on town water, so I've got a pump, and we've got the fire coming. But this cord in here leads into the house, and not all nationalities in the world are like us but you'll see this cord comes in here and gives me power from that power board i go here because we've got to keep the fucking drinks cold so that's very important aussies nelligan's here there's a fire there and a fire there and nelligan's there but if i flick this is eight o'clock up here so up here if i click 11 Look at the wind, and it's going up to like 30 knots. Now the wind's going this way, the smoke's going that way, and some of this fire, look at that. Fuck me. This is a non swearing channel, but on a day like this, I'd have to say, fuck me. Now the adrenaline's starting to run. That fire's just over that ridge. In the next couple hours, we got we got some serious shit happening. Some serious shit. Oh my Buddha! I've never seen fire travel against the wind. Like this thing is trying to come this way because there's so much friggin' fuel, you dickhead greenies. Let's follow what the bloody indigenous people used to do: burn off regularly. Our land needs it. Look at that, the wind's going that way, the wind's going that way. That way and that way. And the fire's coming this way. I'm not sure, but the only place it's come over the first ridge is here. Could have been a spot fire come across from there. But I don't know, if I was these guys in this house over here, the Furzers place, I'd actually would have went up in the hills and backburned for a while. I would have... It's not going to make much difference. If anything, it's going to help them. Um, 
things are getting really really eerie you can see like this is getting really eerie look the trees aren't even moving just slightly there's no wind on the water the smoke's just going straight up now and right about now the wind's meant to be coming this way so it's like the calm before the storm Wish me luck. I don't know whether how many of these I'll be doing while I'm uh, trying to keep the spot fires away. So, tell how hot it is. Look at that. Just from standing out here. Anyway, if I don't make it through this, everyone that I thought is still a All the people I loved, I still love you. But anyway, I'll, I'll make it through. Everything's just gone still really still like nothing oh no look look at the smoke coming across the water have a go at that that's a southerly coming through wow we look at that that's only like a hundred meters away here comes a southerly look at it oh my god I I cannot believe I just witnessed that and got it on camera. Like it's dead still here, but the wind's blowing over there. That's the southerly. Oh my God. I got that on camera. Oh my Buddha, oh my Buddha. Here we go. Oh my Buddha. Look at this. Yeah, mate, southerly just come through. Oh, look at it coming from this way. Now we're in deep shit. Uh-oh. We're in deep shit. Look at it. It's coming. All right. That's it from me. the last of it. Oh, you can feel the cool air. Oh my god. That houseboat is no more than oh, 40 metres, 30 metres away. You cannot even see the other end. Look at, look at the stuff floating down already. We're on. Okay. See you later. Wish me luck. Fuck, I don't know whether you can see that, but it's fucking bright red. Fucking bright red. I don't know whether you can see this, but fucking black. It's red. It's like night time. And the fucking noise coming from over where the fire is. Pretty fucking scary. Oh my god. Oh look at this. This is my street. Have a go at that. Got the car here just in case I didn't get to the water. Plus, I don't want it near the house. Wow. 
Wow, fucking, I've never seen, I didn't know what it was going to be like to experience this and I fully understand why people get scared. The adrenaline's running, something chronic. I'm not really scared, I was when it first come, i got to admit. Um, when, when it went black and then red, yeah, I, I fucking got a little bit scared. But then, I'm cool, it's like... You know, I'm going to be in some action soon, I'd say. Um, yeah, so, wonder where my little chookies are. Hopefully they're somewhere. Oh, there they are. Hey, I know. I know, where's mummy? Huh? Okay. I know. Anyway, I'm fucking I've got the sprinkler wet in this place. If it goes up, it goes up. It's just a little shack that I've done up. And the sprinklers on there. Um, I actually seen a flaming, like a, uh, I don't know what you call a member come down. Just down here, actually. Anyway, um, I don't turn this camera off because there might be other footage I need to take, but this is just, look at all the fire brigade over there at Nelligan. This is about 20 minutes later. Um, you actually can see now, before it went like midnight, I mean pitch black with this slight orange and then all of a sudden the orange has got brighter and brighter. Um, yeah, but it was, I tell you what, when it got really dark, like midnight, and you can hear these cracks coming from the bush. It's like trees are exploding. It's a really weird thing to understand that it's coming across black and then all of a sudden there's this red embers and you can feel the heat and all of a sudden you hear bang like construction work you know they're belting in big big beams or something and what it must be is the bloody trees exploding hey well i slept surprisingly well um yeah um, I did have a glass of vodka, but yeah, I wasn't pissed, and uh, yeah, I think I was just the adrenaline come down. Fighting for your life in your house and fires and shit. When you're cooking dinner on your Honda, in your little oven, and it's a nice piece of meat, you've still got to use a thermometer. You don't want to be eating shit if you're going to die. That's me last meal. I want it perfect. Oh. I forgot there was so much uh, going on yesterday. Well, this is Happy New Year to me. Well, it is actually. I'm alive. Um, Largest evacuation the state has ever seen. Tourists and residents given 48 hours to get out of towns across the south coast ahead of what authorities fear could be our worst firefight yet. The government has declared a fresh state of emergency for the next seven days and many are listening to the warning with long... So it's 10.30, I've just jumped in the car, I've got a couple of jerry cans. I don't like the chances, we're going to see if I can, uh, yeah, get some petrol in town. Look at that, someone's got through the raid block in Ari. tourists are being told to get out now with more hellish conditions on the way. The warning comes in the midst of a mounting crisis with petrol, food and water supplies running dangerously low. I really don't know what's going to happen here. I'm, I've got heaps of food, I've got heaps of water. Uh, the problem is 
is uh, I'm getting low on petrol and I've just tried to come here at seven o'clock in the morning to get a jerry can full of petrol and there's just cars lined up everywhere so um, yeah I uh, yeah I, without without the petrol all my food goes all my water goes um, so yeah these are things that you don't realize I'm very comfortable uh, stuff like that but I really 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 need some juice so I'm not sure what's gonna happen these boys need beer so they've got someone in town that's gonna meet up with them at the spit pier or at the thing and they're gonna do a run from here in the boat get half a dozen cases of beer it's gonna be thirsty work today so a little bit of uh, fun that's what you got to do when there's fires and roads are cleared, uh, blocked, I should say. So yeah, they're going to go do a beer run into town by water. The river is as calm as calm. They're saying today uh, will be worse than the other day. Um, I'll just see what happens because so much bush and all that. But anyway, I think I'm a little bit more prepared mentally for it. Look how beautiful the river looks, eh? Look Premier Daniel Andrews has confirmed 17 people are missing from East Gippsland after destructive bushfires tore through the region. Several Victorian communities are isolated by bushfires and rescue crews are battling to clear roads to reach them so they can evacuate before the risk increases this weekend. I just got off the phone to Joel. Uh, he's a plumber in Canberra. Every sort of trade and people, their brain works different ways. But I haven't heard any of this on any warnings or anything. But Joel said, have you got heaps of bottled water? I said, no, no, I've got two full tanks. I've filled the tanks up. And he said, oh, no, you've got to make sure you don't catch any water after this because, you know, houses burning down and all that, the pollution in the sky will land on and it'll wreck your drinking water and, you know, even asbestos and that. I said, shit, I never thought about that. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to disconnect my water and cover it up so it keeps my drinking water. They're two full full uh, water tanks. I've just gone and done Joel's for him, and I'll probably go and do Jan and Rusty's in a minute. But, um, yeah, basically that would have been 35,000 litres down the tube. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> Many roads on the New South Wales South Coast are at a standstill as thousands of people rush to get out of the bushfire danger zone. The Rural Fire Service has warned tourists to leave ahead of Saturday's deteriorating conditions. It's been a real still morning. Oh, far out it's hot. You, you just can't explain this heat. Like, out here it's usually about 5 degrees warmer than in town, but... It is hot, like you can feel the heat coming from the ground. Um, yeah, no wonder they're saying it's real dangerous. Oh, the other thing I've noticed, you see a lot of wildlife you don't really see all the time. Like there's a few different birds around, hawks that I've never seen. And uh, some magpies uh, with the colours. Yeah, and they're not local magpies and they're real scared of people. So they're probably from out in the bush, but the wind's just starting to come up and it's coming from the north and it is extremely hot. I just hope they don't cut the power off because I need the air conditioning. It's just really uncomfortable hot. The wind um, is still coming from the north, but every now and then it turns around and comes from the southwest. Um, so not real good. We've lost power. Uh, they say today could be worse. I don't know whether you can hear me, but I'm just taking a video. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Mate. That is it. absolutely unreal.
just an update. Um, yeah, uh, you can see here, it's actually about nine o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, yesterday was a lot different to a few days ago. A few days ago, there was sort of embers floating down and it went pitch black. And yesterday, it was more about um, big fires, like really close, like talking. I could probably walk to the fire just over here um, in less than a minute. And there was a helicopter guy that you probably will see the pictures and videos earlier just before um, yeah he was doing a mad job mate. from the time he left here picking up water he'd fly around and he was dumping water and then he'd be back here within 45 seconds doing it again picking up water it was just crazy it was probably two and a half minutes from fill up to empty to fill up again the whole process it was just crazy how much water he was putting on the fire if it wasn't for him I'd say we would have been in big trouble along the here. The screen there, it's been raining all morning, okay, only drizzling, but there's no real fires or anything. And just over here, you'll see a tree, and it looks as good as the trees in front of me here, but there's flaming. I'm going to see, like, have a go at that. So that tree, if you have a look at it, is as good as the one in front that's the closest one. And that's burning out of a hole. So the inside of that tree is a light. So you think about all these trees, all up and down here, all right? They could be a light on the inside. And this is what Scott Britt, the highway patrol fella said. That's why we don't have the highway open in between Canberra and Nelligan. It's because these trees are burning on the inside and they're just falling over the road. But have a look at that. If I'm going to try and go in. That tree looks like it's perfect health. But it's... See that? There's the ground. And you follow it up. Look at it. So it's six days after the first front. They've even bring an ice in and just leaving it in pallets. So people haven't got any refrigeration so yeah they're all ice and then you come around here you want some bread so I mean the supermarket's half full but have a go at this this is just all bread Look. this is just bread have a go at it Tip Top's the only one that looks like it can supply bread. So this is nearly seven days after the first real big one. But you've got to remember it's been going for... It's been going for um, seven weeks the first fire started. But have a go at that. Hey? That's all full. It's full as. Look at it. And, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Pizza, sausages, a little bit of meat and that. Enough for people. I'd say it's been getting smacked every day. A bit of fruit and veg here, so, mate, I think they're doing well. Have a look at the ice, that's what's the bread and ice. Have a go at that. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, two, four, six, eight, ten. There's over half a semi trailer of ice. Seven o'clock at night, um, I just come over to the river cafe. I'm over the other side of the river just to say good day to Terry, who owns the cafe. and. Anyway, this is what the donations happen. Um, this guy pulled up, he lives around here. And that was full.
basically uh, he's bringing it from a main warehouse and uh, it's just what everyone's given, all the donations. Um, and yeah, basically anyone in this surrounding area at Nelligan comes down if they're running out of stuff. I mean, there's toothbrushes, babies bottles, um, you know, food bars, popcorn, wheat big cereals, deodorants, everything. Toilet paper. Yeah, so this is all donations that come through. Another box, you don't know what's in it. Oh, this one says baby food on it. No, what is it? Cereals. Yep, plenty of baby food for the kids. Seven of January, so seven days after the main fire and we got electricity back on. We had a little bit of rain yesterday. Um, I'm totally over it. I'm I'm just exhausted. This has been going for like eight weeks for me. Um, you know, a lot of people only been going through it for for um, basically a week, and they're already over it. But I just want to show you. You know, everything's all over the place. I've got cords. I'm going to pack up and try and get into some normality. Like, I mean, this is what people don't understand. Have a look at this. Look at this. That's from the fire. Look at it. This is everywhere. It's on my computer. Oh, this is a bathroom. Have a look at this. This is, it's just, it's, it's in your towels. You're living in this shit. Now, look at this. I don't know whether you can see it. Wait, look at this. Look at that. I don't know whether you can... Wait, look at this. You know, it's everywhere. It's in your towels, it's in your doona. I mean, look at this. So, try and get back to some normality. I'm going to pack up all the leads. If I have to unpack them, I'm going to dust and clean this place and wash all my sheets and do everything. So, yeah, anyway, I'm over it. I'm a little bit bored. Sorry I haven't been making any videos, but same, same, same. So, all right, all the best, everyone. Cheers. Hey, hey. Um, I just went up to put the bins out the front so they don't stink and things near the house. Um, also, to let people know that I'm here. Um, but I want to show you something, like, there's plants that love heat and we've had it hot and there's plants that love heat but wet heat like tropical heat and I want to show you how dry it was yesterday have a go at this it's virtually burnt okay, look at that look at that now they're banana leaves, okay? And I'm not joking you. It's, it's crunchy. They're burnt. They're not burnt from the fire. They're burnt from heat. Have a go at that. Like there's what, there's, there's what a leaf sort of should look like. Have a look at this. Have a go at this. And if you have a look over there, that brown in the background and the green, well the green's unburnt and the brown, the whole of the mountain range, as far as you can see coming in from Bateman's Bay, the whole of the mountain range, you can see one up there, see there, the whole of the mountain range there is just brown burnt to a cinder. But anyway, I'm airing the place out. I uh, still don't have um, electricity. But anyway, all good. Let's hope they get the electricity back on so I can run the air conditioner and freshen the place up. Hey, hey, YouTube. Um, yeah, just uh, that's it for the filming for me. I'm just a little bit tired and I'm over it. Um, I think we're pretty safe here around Batemans Bay. Um, there are still fires around, but we're that burnt out. Like, you know, virtually all the way around me, virtually 500 
metres to a kilometre, I'm just burnt to a crisp. And this is like a little patch island where they've protected us from getting burnt out. But anyway, that the video is more for me to look back on and what I went through and maybe people can see what it's like going through these fires. Um, I'd like to thank everyone that's um, actually the tourists and that that left as soon as they could and left the services for the local people. Um, still it's a tenth now and uh, I'd say petrol and all that's good and food's coming back but it's still all the doctor services and stuff like that that we just can't get in to see people and schools and all that so yeah but in saying that I hope everyone comes and visits um, probably give us till February if everything stays the same but yeah yeah I think January's a no-go zone you know a couple, few days about a week ago I was at the survey and I couldn't believe it all the tourists were asked to leave and even the locals if you um, didn't want to stay but yeah you were at the servo and yeah it was just more than 60% were still tourists and they were just staying here and I don't know why there was nothing here and anything that was here was for the people who lived here and had lost houses and that and people are just a bit selfish these days I think um, yeah, and in saying that I'd love to see people back from February onwards um, just spending the money in the community Anyway, I'm out of here and uh, yeah, it's been pretty tiring, but yeah, hopefully you've seen a little bit what it was like to be in a fire, well, in a fire zone too, so yeah.